Got a call that the furnace is not working. Upon inspection, it appears that nothing is running at all. Fan will not turn on. I got this cover off. I do hear humming, so that'll rule out the transformer. I'm also testing to make sure that voltage is present going into the board. Then I'm gonna do a low voltage test from the common wire to the green wire, which controls the fan relay. Set my multimeter to volts, putting one test lead on the common wire, the other test lead on the green wire, and we have 27 volts. So we are getting a call for the fan from the thermostat. Next voltage test I'm gonna do is for the fan motor itself. This fan motor is 120 volts. When I put my test leads on the outgoing power to the fan motor, I have zero volts. This tells me that a component on the control board is bad. I turn the power off, verified that the power is off with my meter. Then I'm just gonna remove all of the wires from this control board so that I can inspect the control board. This control board is held in by four white tabs. You need to squeeze in the tabs while pulling the control board out to release the control board from the tabs. When I remove the control board, it's very evident where the failure in the control board took place, right here on the back, which is the fan relay part of the board. This is pretty easy to repair, just don't have the parts on hand. I do have the complete control board on hand though, so I will be replacing that to get this furnace going. When handling new control boards, always grab it from the side, especially if you are working on carpet or somewhere that is very dry as the static electricity can fry some of the components. And it's also good practice to grab something that's grounded just in case your body is holding a charge, you can discharge that static electricity. Pop the new control board back in, then reconnect all of your wires according to the wiring diagram of your particular furnace. With all the wires connected back into the control board, I can now reapply power. Fan motor is now running again. We have a blinking green light on our control board and you don't have to replace these control boards to get everything running. You can bypass them with a relay. I like to use the 9340 relays. You can now see that we have voltage going out to our blower motor. Thank you so much for watching. This fix is done.